Bossa não é. Pra lá, sem cheio. So this is the beginning of black soap or shedudu and it's essentially of the we we blend and grind <laughs> we blend and grind uh the cocoa Hello? pods um so that's that's uh, really oh, and you get this like ashy substance so the outside of the cocoa fruit essentially is ground up what i also love is every single element of these fruits are used right like there's not one part of it that is not functional right so like the outside that you know we actually i had one today i just like threw it away <laughs> but it's like it's actually functional um so today uh we are visiting uh, which is my maternal hometown and also uh known for black soap and this is um one of the many areas that they make black soap this is my cousin shayi who is my guide today who brought us here and i'm so excited that she just facilitated and made this happen i'm really happy to be here we came in the afternoon which was an amateur mistake because you know i guess you it, the work starts like 6 a.m in the morning basically so we haven't been able to see everything from beginning to end but i've seen just pieces and pockets of the process and it's pretty incredible um and it just makes me so appreciate how much work it takes to make this thing that is you know i i i, I certainly take it for granted i know it's great but i don't i don't think i know how much work it takes to make this so the last one to have good on Look at it, it's amazing. It's like it's like pudding. It's like I just wanna stick my face. It just feels like skin heaven. Hello, <laughs> Lusum. Hello, Lusum. Only 200. Only 300. So after the entire process, which is, we've essentially distilled it to three times boiling, 
then a pounding. You essentially cook everything again one more time, and then you get this. It is, it literally feels like paper so this is the base of the soap if you watch if you go back to and watch an old video you see I bought an original the base and then we put all this stuff on top of it but this is actually what we call black soap right before it's mixed with everything so usually when what you buy has had all these things added to it so osu which is come with powder you have honey you have lime you have all kinds of things that are added for different reasons but this at its core is actually what black soap is it is a combination of cocoa pods oil that goes through several generations of brilliance and genius to create this and this is the soap so this is black soap before all these other things get added to it and what's also interesting is it's actually not black at all it's quite you know it's very light color So you buy some, like, I'm sort of speechless at the moment because I've gone to see a little bit of what it takes to make the stuff that I use and I use so kind of easily and it's a little bit humbling um, to see how much effort goes into it, right? And how much work, how much work it truly is. And also humbled by um, the ingenuity and the ways in which we've really found pieces of the natural environment to continue to use to to beautify or to treat or to make your skin, you know, healthy. Um, and the, the sort of generations of knowledge that goes into this work, I think is like truly profound. Um, and I just hope that it doesn't die, right? Um,